Hi there, everyone on YouTube. This is Jeff from JeffMobile.com, and it is on Friday in 2014. Welcome to 2014, and Happy New Year to everyone. Unfortunately, my 2014 started off with a really bad cold. I was fine on New Year's Day, and then after a very rich Chinese food dinner on New Year's, Eve, New Year's Day, which I really enjoyed, I came down with a really, really bad cold, and I'm still getting better from that right now. I had to miss work, unfortunately, for today. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to get lots of rest and feel better by tomorrow or by the weekend. Um, anyways, I am looking forward to 2014. There's so many fun things to do at work and at home and many interesting people to work with and projects and my excellent software development team at where I work. Uh, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about something that's really important to me that's uh, really changed my life entirely. One of my most popular videos here on YouTube is a video where I show how to get your Android cell phone to read books aloud to you because phones and are basically computers and like computers they have the ability to convert printed text into spoken word. So my phone reads books to me all the time and it's great because I can listen to books while I am walking the dog or running on the treadmill, which I need to do, need to do more often. And it feels really good, but I'm a bit lazy because right, I'm sick. And uh, it really brings me to think, what is the future of, of reading? And the definition of reading, I think, should change. And books and everything, I, I don't really see the value so much value of having an actual printed book to read when I am so happy with ebooks. I've I found that the Vancouver Public Library, you can borrow books in electronic form from our library. If you get a library card, you can take the book out for a month, which is enough time to read it. And on my phone, my phone will actually read these books aloud to me using an amazing uh, Android software program I've got, which I do explain in my other video. Also, I really enjoy buying books on Kobo.ca, which is the online version of, of uh, Chapters, the bookstore, and you can buy books online there. Books are around usually $10 to $15 for one book, and you also the bonus is that you're saving paper, and the book, however, is maybe uh, DRM, or some books are available without DRM. DRM stands for Digital Rights Management. And it's a way of encoding a book that only you can read it if you have a approved player software. So anyways, I, I find that if I buy a book legally, I think in Canada you actually are allowed to remove the DRM uh, if you, as long as you bought the book. Because that means you're, you're allowed to transfer the book to different devices. But removing DRM is still a gray area, and um, you should never send a book to someone else unless you have, unless it's a free book or um, you've paid for that book. So I wouldn't, I don't recommend removing DRM and then sharing the book because that's that's taking away the profits or the, uh, the revenue toward the authors who d definitely deserve the money. Because writing a book is a wonderful thing and I think now that phones can read books aloud, it's it's an amazing thing to have an ebook. And so I, I always buy my books legally online. I've, I've bought about 10 books so far in the last uh, year, the past year and the current year. And I find sometimes you can get an online coupon, coupon code that will allow you to buy a book um, at a reduced cost. Recently, I found a coupon code that would allow me to buy some books at 50% off on Kobo.ca. And you can always check online to find if there's a coupon code near you. So I really believe in paying for the book legally, but I also believe that once I've bought the book, I should be able to transform the book onto my phone so that I can use it in the way that I want to read it. But of course, I would never share this book with anyone else if I know it's a copyrighted uh, book because I know the author deserves the the money for that book and the person, if, one, if they want to read it, they should buy the book themselves or borrow it from the library. So yeah, I think the future of reading is changing from reading paper books to reading ebooks, and I don't see any real disadvantage to doing this as long as 
um, you have control over the book. I know that Amazon, Kindle, Amazon still has control of the, over the book. They can recall a book and then it will disappear from your phone. But by removing the DRM, you take basically now control the book on your device and you no longer they will no longer have the ability to take the book away from you. But depending on the country you live in and the copyright laws that you may have in your country, removing DRM may be illegal, and I believe it may have just become illegal in Canada, which would cause a problem for me, but uh, it's one of those little gray areas that definitely is interesting to explore. Recently I read an article by the celebrated uh, science fantasy author Neil Gaiman, G-A-I-M-A-N, and he talked about the importance of libraries to create a culture and society where people are more engaged and have less crime and are more inquisitive and founding, creating a strong foundation for our democracy. And I really agree with Neil Gaiman, but I also believe that we should have the rights to consume a book that we purchased in any way that we choose, including having our phones read the book aloud to us, especially for people who are visually impaired or people like myself who I don't really have a lot of time to read printed books, but I have lots of time when my phone can read books aloud to me. And I, I know that websites like audible.com employ a lot of professional voice actors to read books aloud, but I find I enjoy my Android voice using Ivona just as much as I do a, a human voice actor. So although I, some people may prefer having a human read to them, I'm perfectly content with getting my content of a book through a robot voice. Okay, that's my rant or interesting discussion today for ebooks and books. I wish you all a very happy new year and uh, let me know if you've ever tried having a phone read a book aloud to you and how do you like to read? Do you like to read on your phone or a Kindle or a Kobo reader or do you like the printed the printed books that we are traditionally using in, the, in Canada and in the world? Okay, bye-bye for now. Have a great day and I uh, look forward to talking to you more in this 2014 year. Bye for now.